May I ask you all something? Have you heard white noises? It isn't a great expression to fall upon. To know that you're under the shadows of the smoke-filled past under the neon moon, drowning in living waters. Definitely not one of those things that I imagined it to be. It wasn't a fairy tale, no. It wasn't that fairy tale where everything settles down to be wanted and just like that you wake up being paralyzed amidst the pearls of soundless dreams like an alliteration of your own bros. You're that fairy who's injured, who has her own struggles. Life isn't great, but grace is what keeps you going. The struggle is to cross through the road of dreams and look through the dense clouds of nothingness with filters of yesterday, today and tomorrow. Once, somebody told me that our country is evolving, growing, breathing and yet I find people being suffocated out of misery and die out of depression and that is about 2,30,000 people approximately every year just dissolving like dust in air. Once, somebody told me, don't spread your legs, legs and sit like that. I mean, good girls don't do that. Said another woman to me, my clothes must not decide my character, but my words must. I may wear a six yard long fabric or a six inch short skirt, but does that really change my soul? Once somebody told me sexism is dead and nudged me to text back when I reach home safe and asked me to carry a pepper spray while I walk my way back home alone. Once, somebody told me, you are such a feminist, Athira. <laughs> sure. I'm sorry if your dictionary does not tell you the right meaning of feminism. I'm sorry for your pocket-sized encephalon and your hypocritic grey matter. But let me tell you, my dear friend, this poem is not about that. It's about equality. It's about love. It's about what I want to be to be equal. But you know what? In the name of gratitude, I would still want to believe in fairy tales. Just to remember how I believed in them in my childhood and how much I've learned over and above it all these years and all along I knew this was right. But tell me something. What difference does it make if you can't see with your eyes open, if you can't look through everything and everyone around you, if you can't walk over the water without sinking a bit out of love? What difference does it make if you're lost and not found again, cursed by the fire, not warmed by it in the biting cold again, admit it, you're falling for me. You're falling for the right things, you're falling for the things that's meant to be and that's what you want to do. What difference does it make if you don't conquer life before you breathe out of your lungs for one last time, if you don't roar with your brothers before that one bullet pulls you apart? What difference does it make if you don't believe happiness builds happiness and laughter What difference does it make if you live and unlive or unlive and start living again? The cure is not to stop, but to begin in the right way again. Thank you so much. You've been a great audience. Thank you.